There you go. Anna. Hey, weddings are a time of love, happiness, and family, but they're also a huge time of financial problems because a lot of people spend more than they can afford. Let's talk about ways to have a dream wedding, but you won't break the bank. Lisa Hopkins here. She's from the National Association for Catering and Events. This is a real problem because I think yes. women especially maybe in their heads have this idea of the great wedding they want to have, and then financially you start looking at it and it doesn't mm -hmm. work out. Yes. Well, our organization, NACE, is the National Association for Catering and Events. And we are specialists in our field, be it catering, uh, event planning, event professionals, florists, decorators. And so we are the experts in that field and, and we want to help our customer achieve their dream without breaking the bank. So what, what are some of the, the things you advise right off the top? Like what do you need to do? First things first, create your budget, plan accordingly, and really think about the things that are most important to you. One or two things that you really want to be absolutely spectacular and really focus on those things and make them great. Those are the things that people will remember years after your wedding. Like a nice parting gift or something at the table that's memorable and meaningful to the absolutely. couple. Absolutely. Something yes. like that. Yeah. Let's go to step number two, Lisa. What have you got here? Well, the first thing you want to do is look at the high cost items. Things like food and venue are going to be the big, big line items on your budget. Um, look for off-peak times if you can. We're doing a lot of weddings now on Friday nights, Saturday afternoons, Saturday nights. Those mm -hmm. are great times and caterers and other professionals like myself are able to offer better pricing at that time. So think about that first and foremost. The next item that's a big ticket is the bar. Yes. So really think about your guest drinking habits. And don't invite um, the big drinkers? Don't Im <laughs> No, you want to invite all of your friends, but you can start with a beer and wine bar and then maybe add something special. What is really fun and trending right now are bubbles bars made with champagne or um, other things like Prosecco, sparkling wine from California, Cava's. Uh, champagne cocktails, adding a leather, another element to a champagne cocktail really makes a statement very elegant. Um, or also just pick a signature cocktail, something with vodka or gin as a base. Um, right. And then keep it simple but memorable again. Step That's really the trend, simple and memorable. I like it. Step four. Mm -hmm. Decor. Decor. A lot of people just think of flowers. Flowers, flowers, flowers. And they're expensive. But, and they are expensive, but you want to make sure you do flowers, but also other elements. Table linen brings out color. Lighting makes the color even sparkle and shine even more. So all of those things together. And that's why you want to hire somebody who's experienced in design and decor so that they can make that perfect look for you. Sometimes you can get a savings by hiring an expert because they Absolutely. know where to shop for the cheaper things. Yes. Finally, we've got one more step here, Lisa, to help Mm -hmm. Yeah, what is it? Well, think about entertainment. Resist the temptation to plug that iPod in and let your guests go. Hire a professional who can make sure that your party flows, that guests are enjoying themselves on the dance floor, the right song at the right time. Leave your guests dancing, having fun, and thinking wonderful things the next day for you. Do you think these tips could probably bring it down like, what, 50%? Could you knock off even the price? You know, with, with decor, it can be as, as much as that. But certainly, again, just prioritizing what things do you want people to talk about and build your budget from there. An expert from our association can certainly help you with that. Wonderful news. Thank you, Lisa mm -hmm. Hopkins, for the tips this Thank morning. You. Tammy, Susan, let's get over to you. One of the big stories of the